In today's DIY project, I'll show you how you can make this cool heavy weighted bowl with some very inexpensive parts that'll cost under $5. If you have a pet that likes to get your attention by knocking the food around, then this bowl will be sure to solve that problem. Let's jump in and see how it's done. Hey, welcome to the channel. My name is Larry and this is Your Own Adventure. Today we're going to be making a weighted bowl out of these plastic dog bowls that I purchased at the Dollar Tree for $1. And some quick concrete that I purchased at the local hardware store for about $2.50. And then all we have to do is mix the concrete up and pour them into the bottom of these bowls to make them weighted. And I'm going to let Kimmy introduce you to the reason why we are actually doing this. So today Larry is going to make a concrete bowl out of plastic dog bowls that he got for a dollar at Dollar Tree and some instant concrete mix that he picked up at Ace Hardware. The reason why this is necessary, we have a cat, Arbor, who is obsessed with water and he will sit, if you give him a normal water bowl, he'll sit there all day just obsessively playing in the water. He'll put his paw in the bowl and scoot it all across the room. Like it is a nightmare. It makes everything covered in water and we've tried everything. So this is kind of like the last resort. We've tried like 15 things. So I wonder if I can find him. This is the one, the problem kitty, Arby's. I want to make sure that you get the, the bowl that has this indent in the bottom that you can fill with concrete because this is the only one that's going to actually work. Some of the supplies you're going to need is a gallon jug that has the top cut off for mixing. You're going to need some gloves for the concrete and you're going to actually need concrete itself to mix up and pour into these bowls. Another thing that you'll need is a either a gallon of water or some water source to add to the concrete. Let's get started. First and foremost, you're gonna need some gloves for protection. You don't want any of the concrete drying on your hands because it's a pain to get off. Then pour some concrete into your mixing bowl of choice, add some water, and you could use really anything to stir it up as long as it's uh, disposable because it might be ruined once you're done with it. You actually want the consistency to be a little bit more watery than this. In my example, later on you'll see how watery it actually is, which performs more efficiently than this method. And then you'll pour it into the bottom cavity. And there's nothing more to it than this. It's kind of like baking a cake in a way. This cavity is going to mold the concrete perfectly around the bowl and you won't have to do any other work aside from just mixing some concrete and pouring it into the bottom of this thing. It's really that simple, but here you can see I add more water to the actual mixture to make it liquidy like so. And it really helps out because it pours over a lot better. And I mean, it's all trial and error, whatever is easier for you, but you could see that this method really works. Also reinforcing the concrete with some sort of fiber might be a good idea if you want to have this a long lasting bowl. And then covering up the bottom here is an important method. I would probably put some chicken wire on the bottom of this the next time I make one just so that it actually really holds up. Also if you want to make this bowl removable from the concrete, you could add some Pam inside of the bowl before you pour the concrete and I think that might actually work as like a, a mold release and you should be able to get the bowl out of the concrete pretty easily after it's been molded. But here I finish up the second Red Bull and I'm pretty much done from now on. And I just have to wait 24 hours for the molds to dry and we'll come back to check out what happened. All right, so now we have our blue and our red bowls that are filled with concrete. They're very heavy. They're about five to six pounds each. And I used an entire bag of 10 pound concrete mix. So that's what you could expect out of these bigger bowls if you get them from the Dollar Tree. We're gonna let them set for about 24 hours and then we'll come back and check them out once they are finished. 
If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and like this video. Share with your friends if you're thinking of doing a project like this. You could use various different bowls in this project. Just depends. It has to have the, the hollow cavity on the underside to make it work properly. Other than that, we'll see you on the next project. I hope you enjoyed this video. Spread a little positivity in your life and with others. We'll see you next time. All right, this is 24 hours later and these bowls are completely dry. I thought of something whenever they were drying that I probably should have done. Maybe reinforced the, the concrete with some wire, but also the bottom of this is very thin and while it was drying, I could feel a flex in the concrete, but now I can't feel it at all. It's, you can hear how hard it is but it feels really solid and you flip it over and it's, it's not going to move at all. It feels pretty good. I don't know how well these bowls are going to adhere to the concrete themselves, but for the time being, I'd say that's pretty much a winner. You could probably put some rubber on the bottom of this, maybe with some, some sort of silicone and make a perfect little cutout for it and that would work really well for it. And if the Dollar Tree continues to make these bowls, if you have a problem with it ever, you could just replace the bowl and the concrete underneath of it should be completely fine. But yeah, really, really happy with the results of it. It was like $4 worth of materials and you get something that you'd spend $20 on for just one. So this is like $40 worth of savings and you could use them for dogs, cats, whatever sort of animal you have to feed and they should hold up pretty well because they both weigh about five pounds. So really awesome. I hope you guys try it out because it's really worth it.